Hey everybody, Davis Tala here once again on the Bookie Joint where we discuss all things books. Those rectangular objects that the younger generation doesn't seem to get. And today we're going to be discussing a little series that came out in 1995 uh, by a man named, that uh, was written by a man named Kevin J. Anderson. And it's a really neat little series. There's only 14 books in the series, but uh, it's worth a read. Um, and if you don't, like, page into a book, um, you, I think you probably get this on Kindle, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's uh, the Young Jedi Knight series, Star Wars. And to tell you the truth, I'm not a big Star Wars fan, but, you know, I, I did like the first two movies. Uh, the s ones following that... Uh, Return of the Jedi, I didn't really like that much. I felt it could have been a little bit better. I mean, the action and the special effects were fine. Just the dialogue in that one was uh, lacking. The ones that came after the Star Wars 1, 2, and 3, you know, the Phantom Menace and so on. The first one I, uh, was okay, but uh, I felt... Uh, the boy that played Anakin Skywalker was a little bit wooden but anyway I'm not going to get into that that's uh, better left for some other time but anyway this one I I read the first book and fell in love with it it's really well written really interesting story it involves kind of like his two children uh, Jason and Gina, I think that's how you pronounce her, pronounce her name. Uh, also, uh, others in uh, Jedi Academy that's been rekindled since the fall of the Empire. But anyway, here's the first book. Let me put it over here where you can see it better. Heirs of the Heirs of the Force. A little good introduction. Really good little char uh, characters, Mobaka, uh, nephew of uh, Chewbacca. If you didn't, couldn't guess that, <laughs> MTD, <laughs> a translator George, uh, droid built by Chewbacca. Really, MTD. Tenel <laughs> uh, Ka. Selfish is the daughter of. I'm not going to pronounce. I, some of these names I can't pronounce. Um, Tenad, Tenadel de Joro. But anyway, that's the first book where they're get, uh, they just uh, are getting into their training. They're 14. Of course, they're on Yavin 4. But it involves the. I mean, the, the Empire may be defeated, but there's still pockets of it here and there. Of course, the uh, fight is still ongoing. The next one. Put it over here. That sun comes through that window so bright. It's a nice, bright day here. Cold, but uh, nice sunny. Uh, Shadow Academy, where Jason and Jaina are uh, kidnapped. They tried to they tried to dock him into the dark, the dark side of the force. He felt the power until he felt the power of the dark side. Yes. Next one, the Lost Ones. when uh, during a break in training Jason and Jaina are reunited with their old friend Zeke Zeke Zek I guess in order for living in the streets uh, he's never cared Zek's never cared for the, uh, the world he's kind of a loner and of course 
the dark side loves loners so he gets drawn to the dark side next one lightsabers another good one uh, Luke has, has come to the grim conclusion with the, th the threat of the new generation of dark Jedi's train in the shadow academy and that's the shadow uh, that's the dark side the empire's um, answer to uh, Jedi Academy and it's the Shadow Academy. Uh, this one, the Jedi Knights are building their lightsabers and so on. Uh, next one, on the Darkest Night, this is where Zek, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, apologies to. Mr. Uh, Kevin Anderson, Mr. Anderson, um, but he's uh, been enthralled, and at that point, uh, you know, you, when you first get into this character, Zach, you uh, you can't help fall, help fall in love with the guy, with the kid. I mean, you can tell from he's deep down, he's a good kid. He just is trying to find his place in the world, the galaxy. So, and of course he gets drawn in, but he's still, in his heart he's still good. He's just been lied to by the, the Shadow Academy. Next one, Jedi under siege, where they attack uh, Yaman 4, I believe, if I remember. It's been a while. I gotta go back and read these, read these. But they attack, they blow up the, I believe, if I remember correctly, they blow up the academy. Uh, next one, shards of Alderaan. Then we got Diversity Alliance. I think that's I think that's Lobaka on the front right there. I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember. Uh, next one, Delusions of Grandeur. I think in these, we're getting to uh, the area of uh, the bounty hunters, like Boba Fett and all them. In fact, I think Boba Fett does play, you know, come into play in these. Uh, in fact, I think that's what uh, happens with Zek, but I'm not going to get into that too deep. I want to keep it a mystery if you want to read these. Next one, the Jedi Bounty. Uh, the Emperor's Plague. Now, if you remember from the original series, there was the Clone, the Clone Wars, and uh, all that. Um, and I think they touch upon that, the clones and stuff. But this one, Return to Ord Man Mantel, involving uh, Han Solo's past. Number th is the 13th one. Trouble in Cloud City. Really like that one. There's one part in there where uh, one of the characters gets knocked off the edge of Cloud City and uh, it's quite harrowing. You don't know what's going to happen there. I'm not going to enter it, uh, go into detail. You know, one thing I, you know, I like to keep a mystery for people who want to read these. Another, I, it's been a while <laughs> since I read these late 90s. And the last one, sadly, is Crisis at Crystal Reef. Um, why he, I don't know if there touches upon why he he stopped writing the series. I was I was kind of sad to see it to end, but anyway, 
really good series, really well written characters you can get into, care for. Uh, so there's care. One thing I like about uh, reading, you know, you you can s see more to each character. You know, on the, in the movies, uh, movies you see, but you don't know what's actually going on with uh, each character, each of the many characters. You know, books, you get a more in-depth view, uh, like with the, with the one of the main characters who is good and the characters are bad and so on. Zach, you understand, you know, you can see where he's coming from, you know what he's going through, more in-depth. You know, it just, you know, books can give you that. They can give you a more in-depth view. Um, a lot of people may say, well, I haven't got time to read. All it takes is, you know, maybe half an hour, if you, an hour, half an hour of your time to sit down and read. People say, well, I don't have patience to do that. Well, yeah, a lot of people don't have patience anymore, it seems. You see it every day. You see it on the road. You see it in stores and stuff. You know, people just get impatient. It's happened to me, you know. But if we don't learn patience with each other, we're going to lose out. And it's, well, I'm not going to get into that. That's a political area, of, you know. But we need to do, you know, settle down and try to be patient with each other. I really do. But anyway, check it out. Jedi, a young Jedi Knight series by Kevin Anderson. Also with uh, Rebecca Mosetta. Moset, Moset, Apologies if I'm pronouncing that wrong. M O M O E S T A. Most. Stata, Mostata, I guess. Uh, I apologize, again, apologies. Uh, but check it, check it out. You'll be glad you did. But anyway, thank you for joining joining me on the bookie joint, and uh, I hope your days are going wrong. Uh, great. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. I mean, if you uh, list the series, you know, books, science fiction series that you like, or, you know, any series. I'd like to be, I'd be interested to see what you got. Um, like the video and hit the notification bell and you do not miss an episode. You know, I know I'm not uh, the greatest speaker. I don't proclaim to be, but uh, I, I try. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for joining me. Have a good day. We'll see you later.